So West Indies pace bowler Kemar Roach has basically warned Jaffa Archer not to expect a warm welcome when the two teams um, face each other in the first test next month. Alright, so most cricket loving fans would already be aware that um, Jaffa Archer would have qualified to play for the West Indies cricket team due to the fact that his father was born in um, Barbados. Archer, however, um, after representing um, the Caribbean at the under 19 level, decided that he would represent England as it relates to his career. And I mean, we cannot even blame the guy because at the end of the day, when you look at it, Archer decided, hear what, I want to be a professional cricketer. This is who I'm going to, how I'm going to earn an income. And then the opportunity is presented to him that, hear what, you can either play for England, a side that is regularly featured at the top of world cricket, or West Indies, a side that is regularly featured at the bottom. You can either go straight into the England team and shine, or you can help to build um, West Indies cricket as a player as an individual not only as a fan I am thinking that Archer is in his right to choose England because here what at the end of the day he might decide that boy I'm going to choose West Indies because I want to help build this and in the middle of the building then all these corruption as usual come to come to, forefront, to the forefront it is things like these why persons are not interested in representing West Indies you know because you might be an athlete and decide that you're going to dedicate your career to this or dedicate your career to that. And then, at the end of the day, all you can hear is that, boy, West Indies cricket not going anywhere because the, the head is dirty, so the, the, the bottom of the stream is going to be dirty. You know? Archer isn't just looking at a career because he's, he's a um, capable player. You know? He's looking at a way to earn an income for himself and his family. So, you know, that settles that. Now, in an interview on Zoom, recently Kemar Roach decided that he was going to put Jaffa Archer on his P's and his Q's, letting him know that, hear what, when West Indies and England come up against each other in July in our first test, even though you would have represented, represented West Indies at the under-19 level, do not expect a warm welcome. That is what Kemar Roach is saying, that, hear what, don't expect a warm welcome from the guys. Don't expect it to be a friendly meetup, you know, because you would have um, shocked us aside and decided that here what I am going to represent England. A lot of players um, are still um, of the view that, you know, Archer is a sellout. He should have chosen to represent the West Indies. So apparently Kemar Roach, who is West Indies leading and um, pace bowler currently, is um, letting him know that here what this is not going to be easy for you. And I am expecting that Roach um, would be speaking in general, you know, saying that it won't be easy for your teammates either. But at the end of the day, I am wondering if Roach um, basically threatening Archer and from a cricketing point of view is something wise. Seeing that Archer is one of the fastest pace bowlers in the world right now and he currently possesses um, some of the most lethal um, bouncer. In, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the game right now. So Roach putting him on his P's and his Q's saying that this is here what this is going to be a hostile um, setting. This is not going to be any nice friendly thing. So expect the unexpected. You know, Roach is putting him on his P's and his Q's but Archer, you know, the interview was done yesterday. So far Archer, we haven't heard anything from Archer but you know, it, it's all mind games but I am hoping that this is not just talk and they will be able to walk the walk because when i look at west indies batting lineup right now and seeing that they are expected to pull out some brilliant batting performances in english um england english career um english condition i am still wondering how comfortable these guys are going to be coming up against some of the fastest bowlers um, that are able to that are skilled with the ball mind you they won't be able to shine the ball using their saliva or you know but I am expecting that the guys will still be able to move the ball around so home so with Kemar Roach coming out and making such a fiery statement I you know something dawned on me and I started to think that I wonder if we are really prepared and ready 
for what um, these bowlers will be dishing out to us in their own condition. I am thinking of a James Anderson. I am thinking of a Stuart Broad. I am thinking of a um, Ben Stokes. You know, I am wondering if we are really ready for what these guys will be dishing out. And Kemar Roach being one of the, you know, one of our fastest bowler right now, you know, he's in his right to go out and make threats because he probably can deliver on that in hostility when he's bowling. But remember now, Archer is bowling basically 90 miles per hour. James Anderson, Stuart Broad, all these guys are bowling at good, relatively good pace. And they are very good at bowling the short ball. And when I take a look at it, we have um, German Blackwood who is not good at all at playing the, the, the pull shot. We have um, Craig Brathwaite in the earlier part of his career. His technique would have been suspect as it relates to him hooking and pulling the ball. Shea Hope who is our, basically our best um, player right now. You know? In the earlier stage of his career, he was um, susceptible to the, to the short ball. I mean, he has worked on that. But with Roach um, bringing in these fiery words, you know, I can't wait for this, for this series to start. Because Archer, Broad, Anderson, all these guys are at the top of their game. You know, we have, we have a couple of debutants that will be um, coming in for the West Indies. And the guys that are expected to, to do the, the, the blunt of the scoring, these are guys that would have proven over a period of time that they are unable to play the short ball. Ball. I mean, bowling to Blackwood, anything short and wide outside of your half stump, he will cut you all day, cut you all over the place. You know, Enkuma Bana coming in, he would have represented West Indies at the highest level, playing a couple of 50 over matches. You know, he isn't the best puller or hooker of the ball either. Rast and Chase, she hope they are able to hold their own. Craig Brathwaite, who I think have eight um, centuries, you know, he has a little problem with, with pulling the ball just the same. But, you know, he can hold his own. So, it's exciting times. I, I am really waiting on this um, series to start. You know, I mean, we have a lot of young, younger players coming in and we are expecting them to do good. We have Shannon Gabriel who is fit, Jason Hola is fit, Kemar Roach is fit and ready to go. We have a couple of um, players in the reserve who are expected to play a, play a part um, somewhere along in the, season, in, the, in the series. But you know, I am expecting that if we talk the talk, we should be able to walk the walk. That is how I'm looking at it right now. Right now, with Kemar Roach being one of our senior players in the side, I am happy that he has um, basically taken the initiative to come out and say, hear what? We are not any joke, you know, we are here to compete. Not, we are not just turning up, we are here to be competitive. And in the last um, series against England in the West Indies, um, we would have, we, we won that series, I think it was 2-1. So we are hoping that we are able to, to, you know, win this series just the same. So I am really happy to see that Kim Roach is coming out and um, is, is, Letting everybody know that here what we are serious about this. We are not just showing up, you know, so we are, we are awaiting cricket to come back. In the meantime, remember to hop over to Sports of the Bone. Lot of content over there. Smash a like on the video. Remember to subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. Yeah, but yeah, so I am hoping that the, everybody, the spirit is high. Um, the last I heard, Coach Phil Simmons was doing an interview, he was saying that um, the guys are playing a lot of dominoes to make sure that they are keeping um, their morals up, make sure that they are, <coughs> make sure that everybody is feeling all right. So, um, dominoes, you know, this is what uh, uh, this, is, this is what reality is like now. Players are preparing for a test series and because of the whole situation that we are going in now, domino is basically a big part of our preparation. But we are wishing the guys the best. You know, at the end of the day, we are all Caribbean people and we want to see the team succeed. We want to see, see them um, doing good. So, you know, and it's good to see the senior players standing up. I am expecting that Roach and Jason Ola will lead from the front. Uh, it's really good. Really good to see what's happening right now. I mean, a couple of players are missing that we probably would have wanted in the team, but... For reasons beyond the, the selectors' control, they are not there. So we just have to work with what we have. You know, so that, that is just how it is. 
And this is a good opportunity for a lot of the, the players to um, go out and show that here what we want to be among the, the, the team. We want to be in this squad moving forward in the future. I would have done a video. Uh, I did a video last week talking about some of the younger players and the opportunities that they are getting. So you can go hop on over to Sports of the Bone. Take a look on that video. Remember to smash smash um, the like button. Subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. Leave us a comment. Always nice to hear what you guys have to say. Um, but uh, the first week in July, we'll be having the first test. I am eagerly awaiting. You know, we wouldn't have we, we haven't seen any cricket for a while now, so it's really good to know that cricket is coming back. Uh, a couple of Jamaicans in the team. We have John Campbell. We have um, Blackwood and Kuma Banner. You know, so Jamaica is well represented. So we're hoping that the guys will be able to do good. Um, our young and upcoming pace bowler O'Shane Thomas is also there in the reserve. So hopefully we'll get a chance in this series to show to show what he's about. But you know, we are eagerly awaiting as fans. You know, we haven't seen any cricket for a while. So hopefully um, we'll be able to get some cricket on the way and we will be able to go to clinch the series. I don't matter if we clinch it 2-1. Once we win this series, that's okay with me. So, you know, we are just anticipating this. But uh, we are wishing the guys the best. We are hoping that the youngsters that are getting an opportunity will be able to prove themselves. All it be in a foreign condition. You know, it would be nice if some of our, um, the guys who are getting their debut would be making their debut at home but you know it's a way to England we're hoping that they will be able to um, take advantage of the opportunity and cement them cement their um, spot in the team you know so uh, that's that's what it is like now you know, team is not at its strongest but at the end of the day we just have to work with what we have so that's basically it. Sports to the Bone. Keeping you informed. Once again, um, guys, remember to hop on over to Sports to the Bone. Uh, remember to leave us a comment, like the video. And um, if you have not yet subscribed, subscribe to our channel as we keep uh, sports videos coming to you. I mean, everything is opening up back now. We're having football, we're having cricket. Soon we'll be having uh, other sports. So we'll be bringing out to you guys a lot of content. So just stay tuned. Sports of the Bone, keeping you informed.